Preparing for the big day, England's Red Roses will take on France, watched by what's expected to be a record television audience. Light up, light up. Rugby is the fastest growing sport for women in the UK, and globally it's played by 2.7 million women and girls. Former player Nick Evans will be watching and hoping any injuries are taken more seriously now than a decade ago when she played for Wales. I used to get really quite, quite regular concussions, but it wouldn't be something that I'd necessarily share with a coach. I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be taken off the pitch. I wouldn't want to have had a week out or three weeks out. Parliament is investigating links between concussion in sport and long-term brain injury. Inquiry into concussion in sport. Doctors told a committee last month that women are twice as likely as men to suffer concussions in sports. Despite the greater likelihood for women to suffer brain injury, it's male athletes who are given priority when it comes to medical care and research into detection and prevention. There is cause for concern because um, basically on the average women's heads are smaller. It's a hypothesis that's been raised but as far as I know, no one has, has done a proper study on it so far. Besides smaller heads and necks, there are other theories about why women's concussion levels are higher. Hormones or women more likely to report a concussion. At this amateur practice session, the coaches use touch-based training, sparing the tackle and teaching the girls how to fall safely, as many concussions are caused by heads slapping the ground. Parents are warned to watch for any signs of concussion, and the players themselves are very aware. The most important thing is that you're safe and that like, you don't go to play, back to play too soon, because repeated, especially repeated concussions, they can be like, devastating long term. The benefits of exercise are well documented, and to ensure the joy of playing remains, the sport of rugby is looking to reduce risks as the ultimate goal. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, Cobham, England.